guys, welcome back. I'm Lady B, and welcome to my kitchen. Happy Easter Sunday. He has risen, and guess what? So did we this morning. Thank God. And what phenomenal recipe I hope we're going to be having today. So I switched it up a little bit. It's Easter Sunday, and usually I eat all kind of traditional stuff. Because we're doing this distancing thing, okay, let's do something different. So today's recipe is going to be creamy chicken enchiladas. Creamy chicken enchiladas. We have it over here in a book, same cookbook. I got a couple of more things to do at this cookbook. Same cookbook. This cookbook have over 400 recipes. So I say fair shake at it. Maybe like 15 recipes ought to be good, right? So same cookbook, taste of home, most requested recipe. So the ingredients that we're going to need. So you need one eight ounce package of cream cheese. You're going to need, and I put it all in one bowl, you're going to need Two teaspoons of onion powder. I got one uh, tablespoon of water here. I have a half of a teaspoon of salt here. I have a half of a teaspoon of pepper. I have two teaspoons of ground cumin. Okay. And then over here, we have two cups of sour cream. We have two full ounce cans, right, of green chili that's already diced. Two cans of concentrated cream of chicken, one cup of 2% milk. So like I said, it should be quick. It shouldn't take long. Okay, two cups of cheese as well as 20 of these small flour tortillas. So, and the most important thing to start the show, which I already did up ahead of time to save some time, five cups of cubed chicken. First thing first, we're going to mix this cream cheese, this seasoning, and this water together. I hope you guys are having a great, 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 great time. Let me test this out make sure it ain't going to come off. Hope you guys are getting through everything just fine. One good thing I know you're doing fine because you're here. You're amongst the living. So we good. We good. We're not counting in none of those statistics. We're not a victim. We are victorious, so that is a blessing. And y'all know what I want to do. I hope that we eat this and not leave this. Because you saw in the last recipe, you ain't can't be left there. So, okay. So blend that up really well. And that was fast. And then what we're going to do, we're going to stir in the chicken. Okay. So. Stir in the chicken. And they say five cups. And it's about five cups of chicken. Might be a little bit more, but not too much more. So we're going to stir that in. And you also need two 13 by 9 grease. Baking pans. That look like that's enough. I'm gonna take and stir that in. Make sure you guys just what that look like. It smells really good. Too bad you can't smell it because it smells good. But y'all know that don't always mean nothing. Cause last night. That bread pudding smelled real good, but oh my God. Ooh, I did not like that. We didn't like it. So that was our first leave it out the book. That, that goes to show you, look, looks can be so deceiving. All right, so stir this up. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take and fold up a couple of them just to show you guys the steps. When I come back, I'm going to fold up a few for you on camera. And I'm going to take a quick break and do the whole other two pans because that'll take too long if I wait it. You're going to also have a preheated oven at 350 if I didn't mention it. But it mixes up well. That's good. I'm telling you, it smells so good. I told you what we're trying to do. We're trying to wake up these taste buds, right? Okay, I'm going to take one pan and bring it here. I already grease these pans. Great thing. Aluminum. Finish with it. Throw it in the trash. Okay. I'm going to do like maybe two 
or three, just to give you an idea. And then this, these ingredients is the toppings that's going to go on top. So this recipe says all you need is a fourth of this going down the middle. Now, we're going to see just how much that is. But with this chicken being cubed, it should be good. And we're going to roll it over. And you're going to put... Okay, I think I got too much in this one. But that's going to show y'all. I'm going to meet level. You're going to put that same part down. So I'm going to do one more with a little less meat. And then I'm going to do all of them off camera. And I'm going to come back and we're going to mix up the second step. So one more. And like I said, I'm so happy you guys decided to spend a little time with Lady B today. If you like what I'm doing, of course, I would love and appreciate you guys hitting that like button, subscribing to my channel. Help me out. Tell everybody about me. Leave me a comment. Some of you do. Thank you for your comments. I love them. Keep them coming. Thank you. Okay, so that's two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do all the others. We're going to do all the others. When I come back, it's going to be two pans already together. And then we're going to do this topping. Forward, it's gonna go in the oven so I'll be right back in a flash okay guys I'm back so as you can see it did make 20 enchiladas as said I end up using all of the um chicken I had cubed up in the pan so I end up needing it all so that was measured out to the T not the brag but so the second part is the sauce so we're gonna combine the cup of milk Two cups of sour cream. Okay. Two cups of sour cream, which that's not the, the uh, this the other cup of it over here. I had to do it like that. I am end up busting, busting my um container of sour cream, and I sure was not gonna waste it. So I said, uh, uh, let me salvage what I could salvage. And it just turned out to be just enough, which was good because that's all I needed was the two cups. Okay, so get that out the way. And we got two cans of condensed cream of chicken. It says do not dilute. So you're not going to dilute. And I probably should have left that um those blades on a hand mixer, but we're going to see how I mix this on my own without it. And you need the two cans of diced green chilies. Four ounces a piece. Two cans. Okay. You got to mix it up. And we're going to top it. Pour it across the top of these. Right. So this is going to be like the uh, white cream sauce. Instead of the red traditional cream sauce, I guess, for the enchiladas. But, okay. So let me pull this closer to me so I have more control. So this is a lot. So it's enough. For, it's more than enough for these two. And what's going to happen is once I pour it across the top of both pans, we're going to bake it for 30 to 40 minutes uncovered at 350. And then the cheese is going to go on top and it's going to bake an additional um, 5 to 10 minutes, at least until the cheese is melted real good. And you can see that this done mixed up really, really, really well. It didn't ask for any powder seasoning or anything, so I'm not going to add any because they had a good bit of seasoning with the chicken. So, okay. Let me get this up out my way. Put it over there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scoop in. Pour a cup or two across each pan. And y'all know I want to eat and I leave. Because your girl hungry right now. So, But so far it looks good. The chicken actually, those seasonings that went on there, it actually smelled really good. But just because something smells good all the time don't mean it's going to taste good. But I hope it does. Okay. Pour it across. And it's going to spread out on its own as this heat hit it from the oven. So you don't have to be perfect with this. I told you you don't have to be a chef to follow somebody else's instructions. Now, this is my first time using this recipe. If it's something I don't like about it. The very next time I fix it for my family, I'm going to take away or add to it, depending on if I don't like something. And that's what you can always do. Take away or add to it. Right? You can always do that. Okay. 
So, and this is going to be uncovered. I'm just trying to use all of this. And then you need two cups of cheese. And I got the cheese sitting up ready and waiting. So, okay, there you go. So, I'm going to put it in the oven. Everything going to melt and spread all over. I put it in the oven. It's going to bake 30 minutes. And once it comes out, after the 30 minutes, I'm going to add the cheese to it. You're baking it uncovered. And I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. It's been about 35 minutes. So it said to cook the enchiladas to let them bake 30 to 40 minutes until they're heated through. And then we're going to add the um cheese. So, and forgive me, my glasses do fall when this heat from this oven comes out. So, that's one pan. I'm going to sprinkle them with cheese. That's another pan. I'm gonna sprinkle the cheese on them. I left this to show you guys. I did taste this after I put it on there. And I wanna tell y'all what it tastes like before we taste it all together. It tastes like nacho cheese, like homemade nacho cheese. Uh, not as strong as nacho cheese, but I guess the green um, peppers give, the, um, give it that taste. So I'm gonna put this on here. Sprinkle this on, and then I'm going to put it in the oven for like another 5 to 10 minutes or so. And then we're going to be back tasting, and we're going to find out if we're going to eat it or leave it. I'll be right back. Welcome back, guys. So it's time for me to take those enchiladas out of the oven. Um, it smells really good up in here, so hopefully this tastes really good. Okay, turn my head. Let's see. Okay, so there you are. They look amazing, but looks are deceiving. But I'm going to be honest, I'm scared right now because who wants to stick hot cheese in their mouth? I think I'm going to get KP to taste this first. <laughs> I don't oh, know. make me the guinea pig? I'm bring it up. Yeah, so y'all see how they look. So, yeah, I'm going to make him. I, I think he have, the, he have the mouth of steel. So... I'm thanking God for everything. I'm thanking for his blessing and his grace and his mercy. I'm always thankful and grateful. I know that because of him, everything is able. All good comes from him. So maximum bless this food in Jesus' name. Amen. Hopefully, we eat it. So let's see. Let's see if I can get it on out of here. Because I had to shove a lot up into this little, into this pan. Because they almost wouldn't fit. So I'm going to grab two. Let's see. Come on. Okay. All right. So, like I said, smell good. Look good. I want it to taste good. So, I guess I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I'm scared, y'all, but I'm going to try it. All right. Let's see. This is not going to cut nothing. I'm going to pull the butter knife out, but. We're going to see. Oh, well, it did cut. Oh, I'm scared. This is hot. I wish I'd be right back to let it cool, but I'm not. I'm going to cut it up a little smaller than this. Oh, no, because I only need a little piece to taste it to see if I'm going to eat it or leave it. Y'all going to find out. Okay. I think I was out of range for a minute. Hold on. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to blow it. Like I'm about to feed this to my grandbaby, but guess what? It's hot. I got to blow it. Mm-hmm. Mm. mm. It's really hot, but <laughs> you're laughing at me. Because it's hot. It's really hot. <laughs> but don't make me laugh my mouth full. It's really hot, but it is really, really, really good. It is really good. Okay. Be I thought I put you Okay, take no, it off cool. and try. Cool. Take it off and taste it. I will. But it's really, really good. Everything layered and paired off real, real good together. The seasoning on the chicken, the cumin, 
the onion powder, the pepper, everything worked out real well. That sauce on the top, it is to die for. And the cheese and everything is just the extra on top. I mean, it's really, really good. It's good. This is for sure eat it for me. I'm just trying. To, I would have been eating more than this, but um, I'm trying to let it cool. But let's see. Mm-hmm. This is delicious. Okay. Now I can't pee. I'm going to taste it. Mm-hmm. Great. He going to try his. If you guys like what I'm doing in this kitchen, say it again. Hit that like button. Talk to me. It don't take you long to find out. I love to talk. I love your comments and everything thus far. I'm glad you guys decided to spend a little time with me. Let's see what KP say. Subscribe to my channel. Help me out. Tell your people about me. I'm going to eat what's on this plate. I'm you're going to eat the rest. You're going to eat what's on the plate. Mm -hmm. So you eating it or leaving it? I'm going to eat it. You're going to eat it. So is it really, really good? Anything you figure they could do different or just, it's just right? It's to me, it's just right. Anything you do different, but hey, so, everybody tastes different. So to me, perfect. Y'all, y'all let me know if y'all decide to make this. You want the recipe? I can for sure send it to you, give it to you. You probably you can Google it as well. This is called creamy chicken enchilada. You can Google it with a taste of home at a taste of home recipe. Um, I want to let you guys know that I appreciate each and every last one of y'all. So grateful that all of you are here and well. So grateful that we all were here on this beautiful Resurrection Sunday. And what your girl says, if it looks good in a cookbook, cook it.